This is another beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's time for coffee and breakfast, which today is bacon and egg. Mario Odyssey is out today, and look what just showed up. This means that nothing is happening today except for this. Oh, dang. So you guys know how I'm all about those repairs for when equipment breaks instead of buying something new. Speaking of which, do you see this? spot on the camera right here. That is a pretty hefty scratch that I put into the lens on our last Adventure Archives trip. I dropped it on a big root of a tree. Get real tired of breaking stuff, but in any case, uh, this tripod has been broken and I was like, you know what? I bet you I can get either a repair or replacement parts. And I did just that. First is this piece right here broke off. So let's... Wow, the new piece looks much more sturdy, which is good because I just dropped it on the floor. <laughs> Next up, this leg has completely broken. I tried to super glue it, it did not work. Here is the new piece. I wonder, is this gonna work? It doesn't look like it's gonna work. Okay, well I can't fix it by myself because I gotta get this piece out, which looks like this, so I can put it in the other one, but this unfortunately is not a task for just two hands. Dang, that's annoying. <laughs> okay, so it came up with a pretty good solution actually. This thing was partway sticking out like that, so we drilled a hole into there, put it in here, then you could hold it on a stable surface, and then hammered it out with this thing. Oops. And it's free now. You're free now! After much trial and tribulation, we got it fixed. But notice how smooth this one closes, and this one too, but this one... It's not exactly that smooth, but it works. So my brother has this thing where he values his time at $50 an hour. So if something is gonna take two hours to fix, that's $100. And if it's less than that to repair it, so if it's like $75 to repair it, he'll just go ahead and get it repaired because he's saving money because he's saving his time. Now, I don't value my time quite that high, but if I did, I would have just bought a new tripod then fixed it because the tripod costs $75 and the parts cost $17. So it's like $17 plus the hour, the two hours really that it took to fix it. And it's not even fully fixed. Yeah, it's a toss-up whether that was worth it. <laughs> the episode is coming along extremely well. We're almost at the end of the hike. Well, we kind of are at the end of the hike, but I've learned my lesson by now that that does not mean that we're anywhere near done with the episode. I think we should be able to finish it in the next three days, so. You know, it's funny, I don't want to give away all of our secrets, but I'll go ahead and give away all of our secrets. There is a rhythm to certain scenes, and lots of times it just follows the music. It's like, you got some music, and then the music changes, and then you bring in something else. Usually it's dialogue. You know, it's just like what I said about the vlog, you just follow the music. But it's funny because the music that I write tends to always follow the same formula, which is the same formula that I use when I'm editing, so. Oh no, it, it looks pretty good. Also, this show, American Vandal, is hilarious. This guy, Jimmy Tatro, is one of the funniest comedians. Like, the dude is brilliant. You know, I don't have a clue what these vlogs are gonna look like from the past like week and a half. I've been working on this episode so much that I have no idea what's going on and I'm super far behind. So in any case, I worked on the episode all day. Definitely gonna be our best episode yet, I think anyway. Have a good day. See you tomorrow.
can't believe we haven't been filming this whole thing. Yeah, I just sometimes want to get things done. <laughs> I don't want to. Okay, so can't.